Hello and welcome everyone to the Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers video. Actually I did not want to make a video today because I was supposed to have training but then my training got cancelled so we got the surprise episode today basically. And let me just check Okay, um, so Madden's has a surprise for me, splitting the letters all over the place here. So we gotta burn those down. Letters, 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 more of them, more and more. Burn, I said. Where is more of them? Is that all? I guess so. Just burn all of them. <laughs> yes, letters again. Okay, I guess those were all of them. Now I can go to sleep quickly. And there we go. We just lost a guard as well. There we go. Um. I did some code for the reposition rework today and actually put this on here on the version we are playing right now including some other small fixes and I actually did want to check that out if that is actually working well um, basically what the new system is going to look like is here in the GUI Instead of reposition, you got a deconstruct button now. So you go here, oops, build options and deconstruct. And it will create a deconstruct work order. Like over half the size actually only. So it's, oh, it's actually seems to go around here. So that seems to be fairly, okay. Um, and after it is repositioned, I'm going to see at the same position, I would have to cancel that now, um, after I deconstructed it, I'm, I will then be able to pick it up and place it anywhere I want within my colony. Okay, my researcher died somewhere, it's mean, minus six. Minus three. Where is this? Poor researcher. Hi, Iris Jeff, and hi, Mizen. And I'm going to be able to pick it up and place it anywhere in my colony where I want, basically. 41. Minus six. Minus three. Forty-one, thirty-five, twenty-nine. I guess that's where he died. Even with a bunch of stuff on him. That's a pity. I'm going to bring that stuff to the warehouse then at least. But soon all of them are going to... Yes, and then you place it again using the build tool with that level it deconstructed with. Um, so yes, it's going to keep the level then when you place it with a build tool. And to avoid that people use this to kind of build in several colonies and trade it, it has to be placed in the same colony ID that is also stored in the block, kind of. Yeah, I was supposed to have training today and then my trainer told me via message that today it's not going to happen and it's going to be tomorrow instead. So no training today and no stream, no training today but training tomorrow. This means stream today but no stream tomorrow. Let me dump all that stuff now. So yes, that new system should make this much easier now for everyone to handle those things I believe. 
and <laughs> hi geek and one of the main things that uh, is important for me in this case is actually this is much less code like the update itself has around minus 400 lines of code compared to the existing reposition code so that is also m much less likely to interfere with other things and have bugs and these kinds of things but in this video we're going to see how it is actually going to play out um, here Tr drop the remaining stuff in here great um, did I got both? Yes. So what was the black glass panes? And that is black dye. Yes. Um, how many of them was it? No, the farmer is only able to plant things on farmland. He's not able to place anything elsewhere. So that's eight, so I need four. No, I need actually less. How much is the small glass pane? That's six to 16. So that's, I need 12. So 16, so two. Um, what's the name? Ink? No. Ink sex. Yes, two. There we go. Hi, Solmo. Yes, there was supposed to be no stream today, but um, since my training got cancelled, there is going to be a stream today, but instead, no stream tomorrow, unfortunately. Okay, we got those. And do you have also glass for me by chance there we go <laughs> yeah we plan on adding in the future more support for these kinds of things to the workers but for now that is it basically okay we got the glass as well then we can craft those no, wait. Two of those. And then this. What left click, I was told. And then two of these. Perfect. I can deliver those. Um. Like I said, the repositioning thing has been mostly reworked and I'm pretty glad how that turned out and I believe that is going to um, solve a lot of the problems people were having in the past with the reposition. No, we don't have a glass blower yet, unfortunately. We don't even have a blacksmith yet, that one is still not even under construction, it's still missing the con initial construction here by the builder so we're still waiting for that to happen we got that on the list as far as i know after the builder finished the university level four and check how is it 36 percent maybe in this video we're going to see the university finished It's now progressing a little bit quicker after it got the in initial foundation done basically. Okay, what do you need? Sandstone. 21. I guess we are out of sand again, I guess. <laughs> so let's get the tools and we are going to mine a little bit of sand around. Um. We're currently setting up the mod pack for the new Patreon pack and 
Oh, what is this? That was broad, probably me. And currently it's looking like we're going to make it... Uh, wait, one, two, three, four. Perfect. I'm going to make a stack out of sandstone out of this. So Jenny can at least start working meanwhile. And I gotta put things away here a little bit. And so like I said, we are currently starting to work on the new mod pack. And it seems like we're going to put a realistic terrain generation in it. Like I already mentioned some time ago. Um, and besides that, prob hi captain, besides that probably we're going to put um, biomes of plenty. Quark, yeah, tor yeah sorry, terraforged, not realistic, terrain generation, yes, terraforged. Um, nine of them, so five stay here. Terraforged, and we're looking around for some small other mods besides that. Mostly like utility mods and these kinds of things we can include into the mod pack. Um, so those at least those eight I'm going to take. As we're almost getting close to having to hit order. Well, we have a lot of sprues. <laughs> there we go. Oh, nice that you saw the notification. Yes, I know that you guys were not uh, expecting a stream today because I said so yesterday, but plans changed quicker than I actually wanted to. Was actually I want was actually really wanting to go there. Really looking forward to because I wanted to pass on the way there to supermarket, which is a bit a little bit farther away from home, and I usually am not able to pass there. So I'm a bit lazy to walk so far. Yeah. Um, so instead, that is going to be tomorrow. <laughs> yes. That is also almost more time having to walk farther away means less time for coding projects, etc. There we go. Um, oh, I have to go on Discord voice as well. Hi, Samadans. Hi. Um, this one includes now the reposition update. Hi, Arbury. So I clicked reposition already on our shepherd. And uh, not reposition, deconstruct on the shepherd. So as soon as the builders are finished with the current task, we might, they will start on that. We're going to see how that is going to play out. So you, I hear you want to go to the supermarket tomorrow? Yes. But isn't that Sunday? Yes, but the... Fortunately, Portugal is very capitalistic, so supermarkets are open every day of the week. <laughs> hey, that's convenient. It's convenient for us, very inconvenient for the workers. Yeah. Um, the estimated time we got is more or less two weeks for the new server. And yes, I'm using shaders. The sales shaders. But yeah, two weeks is our estimate at the moment. And Wizzy is at the moment mainly looking into word generation using Terraforged, because it's not so easy. If any one of you has experience on how to make a pretty Terraforged world, 
please hit me up on discord because most worlds we're generating are like super flat worlds with a bunch of trees on top of it that doesn't sound too exciting to explore exactly no uh, um in one point in one point fifteen the shaders at least Zeus shaders are perfectly compatible with um structurize and I know that a few other shaders are also compatible with structurize like not all of them because some some of them do special stuff, but um a bunch of them actually work pretty fine fortunately. Um, creating a bunch of stacks of sandstone. And close some of things. My computer's lifting off at the moment again. Did someone die? Yes, a researcher was shot by a skeleton early in the morning. Again. While while I was burning those ladders. <laughs> So I did not despawn. <laughs> yeah, it's, so a, bun a bunch of shaders I know to work um, very well with uh, Structurize, yes. At least in 1.15, Nightenom, the developer that worked on the shaders compatibility, did a really great job on making that compatible. And I really want to make sure this is not because Optifine made a good job. That is because our team made a great job. <laughs> if it was for yeah. Optifine, the world would burn and they wouldn't care. They couldn't care less anyone being compatible with them. They really don't care. There we go. Yeah, let letters are just evil. What do you have against letters? It's, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. It's almost unexplainable, right? Almost unexplainable. <laughs> just almost <laughs> unexplainable. <laughs> I kind of feel like you are getting some anxiety against letters. <laughs> <laughs> uh, one day I'm going to have uh, letters PTSA, PTSD, and the psychologist is going to ask, how did you manage to get that? <laughs> I don't know, I always freak out when I see letters, I just can't. <laughs> okay. Oh wow, sandstone breaks so quickly that like using that diamond pick, that's just, it's yeah, like it's butter. <laughs> it's like, it, I wanted to break one to go upstairs and it was like, it broke three in a row. Oh wow, that is pretty insane. I still, I think I won't use the hammer because this is just faster. My diamond hammer is instant as well. Yeah, but then then it gets just confusing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we're getting a bunch of sandstone here. Yeah, diamond double a shovel on dirt is also pretty insane. Yes, definitely. Yes, um, hammers are just. Like any other vanilla tool, you can enchant them the same way. <laughs> this is kind of oddly satisfying, I have to say. <laughs> 
This is oddly satisfying. It kind of for ma makes me forget letters. Hi Margo, how are you? I did say that it's, I'm not going to stream today, but plans changed. I'm glad that everyone could still make it, even though plans changed. <laughs> um, now I'm going to tell everyone that tomorrow is no stream, just for me tomorrow to get a message as well. Training is cancelled. Not tr oh no, I won't try to jinx it already. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now I got really a bunch of sandstone, so that should be f fine enough for a while again. I need to put some torches around here so that no zombies spawn until I come the next time with my super pickaxe <laughs> and work my way through here. There we go. Just on the way back as well. There we go. Yeah. What? You just discovered dark mode on Twitch? And I thought I was being bad needing so long to discover the crafting with left click. Like, I've ever only used Twitch on dark mode. <laughs> I don't even remember using how Twitch looks like without dark mode no i i just like i made this twitch account here only for streaming i didn't have a twitch account before that that's my first no i got a twitch account because of the curse forge rewards and not because because of the twitch launcher but actually twitch i was ever only using for this stream here Okay, I guess it's time to go to bed already again. You know, builder still needs something, or again needs something. <laughs> Did you bring him everything for the university? I built faster than any man. No, no, I was talking about Jenny. She, ah, she needs nether brick stairs. So you're ignoring our other builder. No, I, I just give him the items when he requ requests it. Because I'm just way too lazy <laughs> to yeah, take care of that. But we need it quicker. We need. To I, I mean, I need a Twitch login to upload the mods to Curse Forge nowadays. Yeah. Not because I'm actually using a Twitch launcher. I'm using the GD launcher, which just works so much better than the Twitch launcher. However, I I, need, I had to make a Twitch account to continue uploading the things, unfortunately. Um. Oh, you, you're still doing it like real old school? Mod packs by hand, downloading the mods? <laughs> okay, I'm not getting the remaining sandstone. Okay, here's only one stack of sandstone. There we go. And I'm going to want to make a bunch of those in that other sandstone type in the cut one. There we go. I guess then it's going to need a while until the builder going to complain about sandstone again. 
Yeah, I, I use GD Launcher. That works really well for me. Uh, GD Launcher supports Linux. That's also why I'm not using the Twitch Launcher. Um, let's see. Yes, Barnaby also needs stuff. What do you need? Red stained glass paints this time. So getting some... What is the name of those? Poppy? I think it was Poppy. Yes. 20, so I need at least two again. Poppy, two. And um, glass, again, 16. There we go. Waiting for the... <laughs> that sounds really lazy. But that sounds exactly what I would do if I had a working setup already. Why break a working system, right? Um, mm -hmm. um, also, good news, I got the Fletcher and Mechanist models and textures ready. So the Fletcher and Mechanist are going to have their own model and textures relatively soon, finally. I got them also implemented, I just have to test them out if all the vari uh, varieties of them work. And very neat, the mechanist is actually going to use like a mechanic face mask when working, when crafting something. <laughs> Glass paints. Um, and I started working on fix it, on finishing the next two workers, which are going to be the rabbit hutch and the concrete worker. There's going to be very easy workers, like the rabbit hutch. I think both of them I'm going to finish by tomorrow. Yeah, no, no sparks, unfortunately, but definitely the the face mask. Yes, then you can have a, a rabbit worker, which should be both fixed by tomorrow, most likely. Because it's not a lo it's not a lot of work. The concrete worker needs a little bit more AI work in it, but the rabbit touch is basically only copy pasting the chicken herder code and changing chicken to rabbit and seeds to carrots. <laughs> no, no rabies worker. Um, and we didn't create a llama worker yet because we don't see yet a very big necessity to do it. And I was told that making a rabbit worker is very essential because those could be the only source of food in a desert. Yeah, parrots really have no use case at all. Like, they seem neat on the shoulder. <laughs> okay, and we got... Uh, yeah, but we got, we got sheep for that already, right? Uh, the concrete worker will be able to make all the colors already. Yes, that won't have to go through the dyer. He's going to create the concrete powder and then is going to place down concrete next to water and then mine it already to get the concrete itself. I think that's one of the workers that probably players are going to love in general because making concrete is kind of a huge pain, I feel. Yeah, llamas could maybe be part of the the stable in the future time, in the future. Um, and I think those are the remaining two workers that we end the builder with the buckets part to finally create our first mine colonies 1.0 version. <laughs> 
because that that is like the let's say bare minimum of things our idea was like the initial version should have a way to get basically all items crafted and the final thing that is missing is the concrete worker now um did you bring I know she's still missing the nether brick stairs, right? Yes. So I'm going to Ah, we got the bunch of nether bricks down there. I know that. I'm going to get those then. Um another rain archer died. And I got the worker here stuck in a minecart, it seems. <laughs> What are you doing there, dum dum? <laughs> Can you tell me that? <laughs> oh lord. Can you tell me that? Chew? Chew? I don't believe it. And you took the... Yeah, we're going to have another adventure hut in the later as well, but I don't see it as an essential hut. That's why I didn't mention it. I wouldn't say it's a bug because they can walk in there and when once they're like in it, it is really impossible for them to get out there, right? <laughs> okay. Um, the general idea we had, <laughs> that's fuel I guess, the general idea we had for a nether worker was basically like an adventurer, you set him up, show the worker a, uh, him or her, you set the, set the worker up, then you show the worker a nether portal, the worker walks inside the nether portal, um, if the other side is not loaded, the worker just does nothing. If the other side is loaded, the worker just walks around and mines random stuff. And, and if the in lava. And falls in lava, potentially. So yes, another worker is probably going to be like, oh, maybe he's going to bring you stuff, useful stuff back, randomly ch stuff it generate, generates. Um, and there's a chance that the worker is just going to die as well. So it's kind of like... Eh, adventurer. <laughs> Jenny? I got lag. Okay, I got fixed. So, here oh, you go. I think now you got everything. Nether brick fence. Use nether... What is the recipe for that? Nether brick fence. I need nether... Um, good. I gotta go to the rest of those. What I found funny, one of the updates we are also currently releasing. No, that worker will... Uh, sorry that I forgot to say that. So when the other side of the portal is not loaded, the worker, the worker is just going to generate random stuff. So it's like, it seems like the worker is doing something but actually he's just randomly generating things. So even though the other side is not loaded, he's going. the worker is still going to get a bunch of material and still going to have a chance to die. Okay, we got the raid already, North I guess. North again. North East again. There we go. Still no pirate ships. Still no pirate ships. Hi, Tiny Tots. So, let's run there, I guess. Um, oh, I see them right behind our wall. Good. Behind the wall is good, because I had them spawn inside the wall already. <laughs> yeah, we, we are got this little gate now. <laughs> 
Or I wouldn't call it a gate. Breaking it. Okay. Where are my guards? Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit longer and the, until they arrive. So here's one. Okay, I'm seeing a bunch of people running here. Yeah, it's not a real gate, but it's better than nothing. <laughs> there we go. All of them are coming. So, are we ready? Run! Okay. And we got a pillager raid at the same time. Isn't that, aren't those good times? Ouch. Protect me, my guards. Protect me. Ouch. Okay, I guess this is actually a very decent strategy. <laughs> yeah, like half of them are following you, the other half gets killed. Yeah, um, I, I just aggro the barbarians and run away. And meanwhile, I, I get the, um, I get them killed. So where did those well, pillagers go? They do change aggro when they get attacked, but not all are getting attacked. Yes, like basically the guards pick on one by one and kill them and yeah. kill them. Where did the pillagers go? I saw them mm. just a second ago. Can pillagers despawn or so? Maybe. Probably. Because I saw a bunch of pillagers. Maybe they saw what we did to the... <laughs> and they so saw those oh no, I'm out 20 <laughs> nasty guards here. And we're like, oh no, this is not a good idea. <laughs> Bad idea, go back, go. <laughs> Especially with those stats, those have here. Yeah, try hitting hitting one. <laughs> I won't. <laughs> Trust me, that was already pointing with the. <laughs> yes, run, <laughs> run, run. Um. One thing um, I guess you guys haven't noticed yet, one of the updates we've been adding, we've, not, we've added actually, but not released yet, and I've been playing within the stream for the past few days, is that we diversified our textures a little bit. So we got now not only um, one color, but um, four different citizen colors. Which we're going to then also... Yeah, I think Chun was the only one that actually noticed it. So we got a bunch of um, different ones now. And we can in the future use that system we've built for that. Also for, like, for example, that is now for the default style. Um, but we can use that for the different styles and different ways as well. Yes, it's random. It's 25% for each of the um, colors, basically. Yeah, I can disband them, true. Oh, I double clicked. Now I dismissed it. <laughs> right away. Yeah, the banner is really useful. They're all running home now. <laughs> Having a hell of a fun at these doors, I guess. Yes, the item pull request is already finished. So, 
it's basically only very little things are missing to finish implementing it. To no, not it's it's finished. Im the implementation is ready already. It's just missing very few things to release it. Come. Got stuck in the door. I don't believe it. And you, also got stuck in a door or just hanging around here? Because now he got it. Okay. There we go. There we go. Then. Um, the stream does it have a problem? Bitrate seems to be fine on. On Twitch. Okay. Um, we took care of the raid. Okay, great. <laughs> Always shocks me. Because I had it a few times already that my Wi-Fi spontaneously disconnected. There we go. Here. I do think you're strong enough. Heavy weighted pressure plates. For that I need iron ingots. Five of them, okay. What are, what are you working on, by the way? Combat Academy 4, five, four. okay, great. Mm. Was it four? Five. <laughs> yeah, so. the problem is more the multiple doors. It's because, to be fair, we were lazy. And we implemented the doors um, using the vanilla handling. So they are as smart as vanilla entities doing things with doors. And that's usually, that means not very smart. Yeah. It's the same AI which opens fence gates and it can't handle two fence gates placed behind each other. Yes, I like the fence gate problem. That's because Vanilla doesn't know. Yes, we do have emotes now and we do have sound events as well. I don't know when has tried them yet. But we do have stuff. I'm getting things set up slowly. And like I said, if you guys have any suggestions for things I should set up, Please um, tell me. That's because we have a restriction. Yeah, I think... Um, I don't know if I can reduce the cost for them. I think that is a fixed cost of the... X thingy of the plugin. Um, the archery is not coming along because um, it's Barnaby who has to finish the other building first. The university. Um, the minor rip emote is still mess missing. <laughs> and we need a letters emote as well, I know. Um, it's because I only have 20, we only have, or we have an amazing 23 subs already. But to have more emotes, we need more subs, basically. So. Um. While we grow our community, we're going to have um, bit by bit more emotes available for everyone to use as well. Okay, we can check out how our miner is doing, by the way. Hasn't died in a while, I have to say. Here, Thomas has been a good pick for the mine, it seems. Unless Thomas is just stuck somewhere underground <laughs> and not actually working. I suspect that. Or are you, is he sick? I'm going to follow him around. I'm going to see. Maybe he's just hiding somewhere. Like, hey, I'm not going to work and so I'm not going to die either. But it seems like he, Thomas is sick. Thanks. So. Yeah, yeah, he's walking to the hospital. Maybe soon we need another hospital, so many getting sick. 
Yes, my lord. Okay, he got potato now at least requested the healer. So going to wait for the little man to deliver the cure to the healer. Is there a way to add chat on screen? How do I do that? Or is that a Twitch plugin as well to do that? Uh, I can I can look into that. It's probably a Twitch plugin. I don't know how that works. Sleepy sleep. And another archer died. That is unfortunate, I would say. There we go. New day. Wakey wakey. Yes, you won't be able to... You will have to... To... Screen out to write in it again. Uh, it might be actually both. Don't sleep, Ambrose. Um, it seems our, I think our Patreon server still has this problem of pirate ships not spawning accordingly. Can you fix the comment thing so that we a uh, command thing? Um, so that we can kill the raiders from the command line. Yeah. Um, yeah, I do not know fully how bits work either, but as far as I understood, understood, oh, she's working now to deconstruct the shepherd too. So that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to see how that works, but as far as I understood, it's um, bits is are like um, individual donations to the creators, as far as I understood. We're going to see where's Jenny. She's going to arrive here soon, and is going to start deconstructing the. He's probably going to deconstruct this part of the delivery man too. No, she's not going to pack up this, uh, the sheep. Those are going to run, run around wildly then here. It's going to be amazing. But yes, not going to pick up the sheep. No, I think that is not something... Yeah, we're going to need some leads. We got a bunch of leads in the storage. I'm going to get those quickly. <laughs> uh, that's quite the head through the wall approach using TNT to deconstruct buildings. But uh, I think the idea is to get back the resources and not to destroy things without getting the resources back. I'm going to get two of the... You could it as a second option. No upbuilding. <laughs> yeah, it could be a quick deconstruction, uh, five times as fast, but you don't get any resources from it. That seems to be working very nicely. Are you killing our shepherd? Oh, I was trying to get the sheep, but the leads dropped. Classically. Oh, our shepherd, we need to... Who is killing the shepherd? You are deconstructing our shepherd. Ah, yes. I'm deconstructing the shepherd because we have to reposition it. Don't oh. you remember? Oh, that was useful. Before the living room had not. I'm going to do my best work huh? for you. 
Oh, let me let me see that. It seems. Oh, that seems to be working. She's not deconstructing the delivery means hut. Oh, that's neat. Because I coded that she only removes parts that are in the schematic. Which, which fits a box in the schematic, right? Like only when there's a block in the schematic, she's going to remove it. And not if it's a solid substitution block. Does she check if it's the same block within the world as in the schematic? Yes. So that is pretty neat because that means um, if you have like two builders, uh, two uh, buildings intertwined into each other, like here the delivery man and here the shepherd, she's not, you can see, she's not touching the delivery man hut, but she is deconstructing the shepherd, even though they have a slight overlap here. So that is. A definitely win, a definite win, I would say. A, a small hole in the ground, because here where you have the gravel is going to stay a hole in the ground. That is not avoidable. Um, I might... No, tomorrow is going to be the update day. Not today, after the stream. Updates are going to come tomorrow. Um, there was a reposition bug with the herder. That was a bug that happened. <coughs> it's hard to he hear some add-ins. I'm going to tune him up a little bit more then. Okay. Say something, some add-ins. Something. <laughs> that was something. But it's some Adams is speaking not up as well. Um, I got him yeah, already two hundred percent on 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 Discord, and I got already his, the input voice higher. But he it's because he is um, mumbling like this a little bit to himself. That's why he's um, a bit not as loud. Um, daily updates should should and there's a big should on um, next week. Mm, Orion said that tomorrow most likely the build system is going to be on again. Nice. <coughs> How often did he say that? Yes, I mean, people are saying you have to be more art articulate, some madams. Oh, in the last two weeks, he hasn't said it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Was that after you started posting pictures? <laughs> I think so. Um, you're re I think it's, it's finished. I think it only needs a, a review from Orion, surely. That's bad. It's only missing a review. I already approved it. Not sure if I wrote it, I approved it, but at least in my mind, I approved it. And... But that is, I think, a fast re deconstruction speed is not really necessary, because that is pretty quick. No, I don't have to sh fire the shepherd first. So, yeah. Oh, the water removal, that is going to be interesting, because I didn't test that. There's a chance that the builder is going to get stuck at the water. I didn't actually test water. No, the shepherd is just going to... Okay, you're not at... Why are you removing the dirt? Mm -hmm. Ah, I think the schematic doesn't have solid substitution blocks there. I believe the schematic has... 
here where the grass path is are probably solid substitution blocks and here are probably intentionally dirt blocks yeah for the sheep to eat for the sheep to eat yes and yes um i need to fix water water is not working So, good thing that I'm able to test that on the server here beforehand. Yeah. Because the water, I have to fix the water handling. Ouch. And Jenny is going to need a little bit until she's going to catch herself after the water shock here. And I have to remind myself to add the water handling to the deconstruction step. And no, the workers, um, I'm going to fire, the, like I'm going to remove and the workers are going to be behave like fired. But since they don't lose levels or anything, I it's not a real problem. <laughs> I'm chat chain MC talk Patreon. Yeah, I have to keep some add-ons from hiring the shepherd as a guard, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> okay, um it's time to get to bed again in game. Not yet in real life. Here we go. Ah, la, la. There we go. Uh -huh. And now I wanted to hire an additional worker at the Combat Academy 4. Actually, yes. There we walk. Mm -hmm. Did I set that on automatic earlier? Yes. So we got four people higher already. Okay, that's decent. And those were upgrading fighting very decently. We got level 12, 13, 12. So I think the upgrade speed at the Combat Academy is not so bad. We hired them early in the episode yesterday. So around 2 hours and they made around 10-12 levels. That is pretty decent. Ah, that's a pity. Irish Jeff. Is the Irish restaurant opening soon again? Or is the name completely unrelated to your job? Okay, the builder is back at it. You know, I can't see her right now. And there she's coming. She's needing something. A pickaxe. I can give you a pickaxe. Don't run. There you go. Here. Where are our rangers dying? Must be some cave or so far away. Oh, it is actually a restaurant. So I was actually um right is it an irish restaurant or isn't isn't it an irish restaurant yes okay the request got solved great um if it doesn't if it says warehouse or request system then it's maybe a minimum stock and not actually a request is that possible super minix um 
you can see it's still um, in the ongoing removal mm, that's weird then to see if Barnaby needs anything um, Barnaby Barnaby's building so he's fine and 40% so we are progressing as well ah that sounds nice you mean like the witch worker kind um, I think maybe um, <sighs> as a next thing it could be interesting to actually do um, further iterations of the bee worker then like like we at the beginning now at the, at the moment the bee worker is fairly basic but there's so many things we can do with the bee workers like we can have them actually completely work with the bees so that they actually place their own bee boxes that they spread um, the bees over the colonies hey, so that they take care of your um, fields and these kinds of things I think there are a lot of things we can do with the bees to integrate them nicely within a colony ah okay <laughs> Yeah, you would want to put the hives near the farms. So having um, a bee worker that would put uh, hives on trees next to farms would be pretty awesome, for example. Ah, Barnaby needed something? Um, I think he's fine. I think he's picking up something or waiting for the delivery man to deliver something. Oh, that's Barnaby. <laughs> So, whoever I was looking at was someone else, but Barnaby is fine. Jennifer's back. But I think there's a lot of things we can do with the bee worker, like I said. Um, and my general thing would be really having the bee worker also create um, beehive, the normal beehives, and put them over locations you specify in a colony and manage those I think that would be definitely a nice thing to have uh, la, la. there we go uh, yes it's basically my streams are always in the evening so that's basically like the main work time for a chef right so you would have to be a uh, weekends as are also kind of the busiest work days for a chef that's the worst part of it probably um. <laughs> so we have got nothing researching here one research here almost finished Oh nice, Jenny finished. So we can repos we can check out that repositioning there. Ah, so we'll be able at least to join in the streams on Mondays and Tuesdays. Okay. So the next step then is going here the build options and then pick up. Okay, let me just make some space here. Build options, pick up. And the block is supposed to be in my inventory somewhere 
Where is it? Where did the block go? It's supposed to be in my inventory. Did I upload the version without the fix? For that? Or did this go somewhere else? What can I do for you? Oh, don't tell me that. Guard towers? Let me relock quickly. I did a fix later on, and I'm not sure if I build a char on a later version. I did not test this on a server environment. I'll take care of no, he doesn't have it. And I don't have it either. This is bad. Herder, Shepherd. The Shepherd's had his gun. Thin air, Gabriel. Thin air. That's not nice. That's not nice. Good it was only level 2, yes. Indeed. And the most important part was the deconstruction part, but... No, it's not here. Is it invisible? Did I drop it somewhere around here? Yeah, may imagine it happened to level 5. I do not hope that you have to reposition a level 5 university though. Um. Yeah, that would that most definitely suck. Let me see if he got it. But it's in simply invisible. Nope. Now it's because the um, shepherd hut block is actually invisible in the inventory. So that could make it more difficult even. I could have even dropped it or something like that. Yeah. What is it? Or did you get it? You have one in your hand. There it is. Yep. It's in my offhand. <laughs> <laughs> it was in my offhand. It's. Uh... Oh wow. Yes, I found it. I got it. I got it. It's because of Optifine. You easily lose the stuff. Wow. I found it. I found it. It disappeared. It disappeared in my offhand. You you spent like five hours debugging it. Oh wow, that that would have been terrible. I would have started the server, tried to debug it, and all these kinds of things for at least an hour or so, not finding this. And it was in my offhand all along. Oh lord. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Now the shepherd, acacia, and I know it's a level two hut. Um, and I can put this basically like this. Well, it's going to be fairly over that area here. I think it should be fine. I can just fix that together here. And here it's now not overlapping anymore. Let me just to make sure I'm going to now I I have still the shepherd hut in this um, build repair. Ah, no. Yes, that's fine. I just want to see where the corners are of the deliverman hut. Okay, the deliverman hut goes one farther out. So I want to have it one farther over here. Yes. Um, that should be fine. Uh, 
Ah, here's the music of the tavern. <laughs> I was wondering where this music was coming from. That didn't sound like normal Minecraft music. <laughs> okay. And then we click place. Those are intertwined. And you can see Shepherd had level 2. That worked. Who was our Shepherd? Probably the one with high Shepherd skills. And I can click upgrade on it. And the builder... It worked! I guess... Nice. Success! <laughs> Only the, th the only thing I'm going to have to fix then are is the water handling, I think it was. Did I say something else or was it only the water handling? Yes, it will now upgrade from 2 to level 3 directly. Could you already assign our shepherd to the unbuilt one? Yes. Because it's a level 2 hut, right? Oh, it's only missing pink stained glass now. Yeah, well, maybe it causes some issues if you've got no hot water builder, but it should be fine. Yeah, it should can't. be fine. And green armor, yeah. Um, Pink was white and red together, right? How much of pink? 38. So I'm going to need 16, 32, 3. The leather armor he needs is somehow colored or so, not sure. Yes, I think it was green. Green armor yes. and a red cap. Oh, we're out of poppies here. That's bad. I guess we're going to need a florist soon too. <laughs> so many missing okay. things yet. Um, what do you mean with the guards scepter? All the guard huts that are being used for the... Do you mean the banner, Chia? Or do you mean... I'm not sure what you mean right now, to be honest. Oh, we are out of poppies! Ah, the building scepter. Showing all the outlines mm, should not be a very difficult feature, but you have to do it well, or else it's it could ga cause a bunch of issues, right? I think I had it in the other chest, some red stuff here. No? 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 Ah, yes, wait. No? No. Dies here. Ah, there we go. <laughs> um, here. I need two of those. Those two to red. Red and ah, those two to white. And that makes pink. And we got glass here. And those together. Wait, I want, I learned this, pink stained glass, and then I can make a bunch of pink stained glass paints out of this too. Great. Yeah, that should not be so difficult to, to do, like you already saw the code to um, render a box so you would basically render the box in a bigger radius that's basically it yeah the florist is still missing and we, we got the florist in the mod but we are still missing it in our colony i'll take care of it Hi, Julian. 
And we can ch check here probably. Doesn't it show? Oh, that's pretty poor. J is not showing the colored versions of leather armor. Yeah. That's not that's disappointing. Way. That's pretty disappointing, I gotta say. It's pretty annoying to get the right color as well. Yes. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> Gee. You got the dips on it. it. Ignore the color and accept, accept any other armor. Actually, we, we were pretty lucky because the, do you remember that bug we had that he f placed those in the first place? <laughs> yeah. yeah, it could be red or orange. Ah, the color is... Can someone write this down? F9801D? <laughs> what color is this? I, I think we should adapt and that's it. <laughs> Zero one D. Let's it's see. Quite a pain to make this color at armor. Um that's orange. And the other one is five E. That is green. Um Minecraft got that on their color wiki. <laughs> the mapping of the color. Yes, people just wrote it's orange. Didn't, didn't you need a special block as as well to color it? Um, like from some villagers or something? I don't completely remember, to be honest. John, how do I color armor? <laughs> do we have it? By the way, the armor? Uh, no, but I got leather. Ah, you got leather? Okay, great. How do we create the colored leather armor? You got it okay, in this predicament. Just normal dyeing in the inventory. I'm going to check on Chenny again. Same as wool? Okay. So it's the normal dyeing process. No special block. Wahoo, this looks fantastic. What's next? Another shovel you need? There you go. What? You think I'm not strong enough? I do think you're what? strong enough. Um Archery won, finally. <laughs> Someone took it up on them. Yes, I think in one point, was it in in one point fifteen they added the armor dice? It wasn't a bountiful update, I think. A bountiful, or however you pronounce that word. Yeah, I and I hate it. Yeah, four sets of. Uh, Armor, <coughs> leather armor. That's going to be fun. But no boots, at least. Let me double check something quickly. Because I remember I made those sets already, and then the builder didn't need it, and I don't remember what I did with them. Did I just put them somewhere, maybe? I'm unsure what happened to those. Those might be anywhere. I do did find that we got a bunch of armor we can give to our guards. 
here in the in our storage. Hey, maybe I left it at a university somewhere. I'm going to sleep quickly first. Upstairs, sleeping. Is one of them fetter? No, those are just fine. I need to bring that to the warehouse house quickly. Does anyone also have this that when you fall in Minecraft it kind of gives you a little bit of real physical pain as well? <laughs> when I hear this tick noise. Kind of inflicts pain on me. I'm going to run to the uh, restaurant, um, university. No, it, it's probably, it's for sure not anymore in the warehouse. Because if we had it in the warehouse, it went to the guards. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Okay, we got some bows and shields here. Um, yeah, that's all. So it's not here. Meanwhile, I can check here what we can start researching next. So library level 3 we don't have yet. We can't do that yet. So also need library level 3. What did you do with bats, some add-ons? We don't I have cookies. Out, out some weed. Um, so I make some more beef. Civi ah, that was civilian already. Technology. We can get some compost. Maybe we have that. Compost and string probably is a good idea to get. To start researching the next things. Um, compost and string. I'm going to try to not get sidetracked in the meanwhile again, as I usually do. Compost and string. Mm. <laughs> no. Just no. <laughs> I love how, how carefully you avoided it. Okay, with 43 compost we got in the warehouse. So I'm going to change that to compost 43. Oh, not happy. Compost 40 at least. No. 30, no, 20, no, so that seems we don't have a lot of compost, yes, good. And we are going to level 4 university now. Hey, it, it didn't show it in the university weirdly. Okay, we got 64, nice. Uh-huh. <laughs> Here, take that cobble. No thanks. Uh, we, they should be there already, but since we um, didn't get put them inside on level 3 because of a bug, um, that's why we have to put them now on level 4, basically. Let me see here. What's it today, then? Do you have in your hut maybe some compost for me? No? So I'm going to check if the...
Did I put seeds on? Yes. Are you requesting Weekend something? Again. Oh. Okay. That should restart her. And I can see if I can maybe steal some from the um, farmer. Oh, um, dum -de -dum -dum. Yeah, the saplings are turned on already. She was stuck on another request. Let's see if can... Okay, nine. I was able to steal nine compost of the farmer. Do you have any more compost in your building? Apparently, apparently not. Is there anyone? No. No. Do you have other open requests? No. So nine compost, that's not really very, not really satisfying. We need 64 for that research. Let me double check here again. How much is saying we have in compass at the moment? It says 43 though. I thought maybe it's because a worker had an open request already for it. But I'm just going to reorganize again. Sort. Well, it makes it a bit easier to find it maybe. It's not here, nor here. A gulag worker? What do you mean? A compost is not so easy to get, especially with a farmer trying to get it faster than I do. And I know the farmer will get it faster than I do. <laughs> Okay, we got a lot of armor here, I guess, I see. None here. No. Lots of books. No. How much compass does it say now that it's reorganized? Okay, so it was just a fluke in the system. There's no real compass in here. Unless it's maybe like here in the hut chest or so. Nope, no compass. Only nine. <laughs> All citizens do great jobs, I think. Amazing. Because you got those two handled. Yes, sir. And you got I more requests open. Question. Yes. So that looks good. So I hope oh. now she's going to produce more of that compost again so that we can research the florist soon. Meanwhile, oh, there are a bunch of guards running around. I can start this research here. At least. Technology, the sifter. Um, what else can we research here? That is only the next one. I'm going to get some stone bricks as well to require to research the stone smeltery at the same time. Seems definitely like a good idea. Um, yes, good idea. I'm going to bring a bunch of bone meal to the farmer. I even got a bunch of it on me. Although the farmer burns through bone meal like butter as well. Although I can't just go through the um, post box and just request like um, compost 10. So as soon as the delivery man puts some compost in there, I'm going to get it. At least something. Meanwhile, I put this here for the farmer. 
Do you have an open request? No. Do you have compost on you? Only bone meal. Okay. <laughs> yeah, at least 10 available, yes. But I do hope that the composter is going to dump at least 10 so that there are 10 available. But it should be fairly easy to code that the post box gives you less as well. Mm -hmm. To check on the composter quickly again. Maybe she already dumped. No, the barrels are not full yet. And we got added one of the north west this time. And it doesn't help help, uh, help a lot. The minimum stock is not stopping the delivery man from picking it up. It just requests from the worker. Uh -huh. I have rallied my army already. In Northwest, do you remember guys, those are the barbarians that come here over the mountain, usually. Yeah, they are behind our mountain. Again? More north than west. More, more, more north than west? Where? Ah, yeah, I can see them. Oh, those are those spawn fairly far away this time. Yeah. Those I am walking. I think they noticed you. <laughs> so the guards are coming as well. I'm seeing a bunch of green points behind me. So Mark is helping me out here, I see. Oh, oh wow, one of the knights died. Ouch. Oh, a bunch of knights died because I didn't have as much aggro on me. We are missing a lot of guards as well. Yeah, we're missing a bunch of guards as well. Ah, they're just running down now the hill. <laughs> Five left. Hi, Rafa. Done. Oh? Oh, stack overflow error. You too? I guess the yeah. server went down? No, no server is um, fine. I think that was client side. No, we got a server side. Illegal. A crash report. Um. So, it's getting fairly late anyway. <laughs> Let's make this the end of the episode then. Uh, we're going to investigate exactly what is going, what is happening here. I'm going to check out the, <laughs> the logs. Um, and there was one more barb left, so I'm g yeah. The barbarians killed not only two guards, but the barbarians also killed the server. <laughs> And I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. If you enjoyed our channel, our stream, up to the crash at least, please consider following or even subscribing. And 
I'm going to see you guys on Monday because tomorrow most likely is going to be my day off. Else I'm going to notify you guys in the Discord again. Those killed the server, yes. Those were some strong barbarians. <laughs> Have a nice uh, weekend. You guys, good night, everyone. <laughs>